how to become a millionaire as a kid. In this video, I'm going to talk about exactly that. Parents, if you want your kids to be millionaires, by the way, that means you're going to become one with them. I'm going to tell you step by step how to do it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you an amazing gift that you are going to want to listen to for you and your family. The three specific things I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about why you should never pay your kids an allowance. I'm going to talk about the 21st century lemonade stand. You need many of them in your family depending on how many kids you have. The third thing I'm going to talk about, and it's most important to put financial literacy in your household, but I'm really going to talk about a key item called debits and credits. You'll learn that at the end. So when you think about making your kids millionaires, you have to think, well, what is the kid going to do? Right? So you first want to start inside your family. Never pay your kid an allowance. And the reason why you don't pay an allowance, an allowance is like a paycheck, right? And so we're so entrepreneurial, untrained, like it doesn't even come up. And yes, there's entrepreneurial schools, there's universities, but they're not teaching real, real entrepreneurialism. So when you think about how we're really being taught about money, we're being taught to go get jobs, which, you know, I'm not telling you all to go quit your job, but it's going to be a hard, long road. Even if you're making 100,000, how many years? Do you make 100000 a year before you finally become a millionaire? So I have very different alternative strategies to teach you. The first one inside your family is never pay an allowance. Allowance is a fixed amount of money with no defined tasks. So the way I want you to think about it is you're going to meet with your kids and you can start this as young as three, four years old. It's very age appropriate and then you'll grow and continue this until their young 20s. So you come up with different tasks and then they get to negotiate. So for example, when my son was younger, he took out the trash, he uh, did dishes, he raked leaves, he scooped snow, and each of those tasks were associated to something different and how much you were paid. As he got a little older, for example, still took out the trash, but now it was actually washing and detailing cars. So which one actually gets more money? So it allows the kids to go research, to negotiate, to be very entrepreneurial with you in this conversation, and they get to define how much money they make every month. It's not up to you. So if they want to make a bunch of money and you're going to hire someone else anyway, why not keep the money in the family? So that's like principle number one that is critical. Never ever pay your kids an allowance. Number two, 21st century lemonade stands. We need to get these kids in entrepreneurial ventures like right away. For example, I have this financial filing kit for kids. My daughter and I made it together. It's called Mom's Daughters of Money. And the first category right here is how do you make money? Like this little cute wallet. Right? She used to sell these little wallets for $2, $5, and she would customize wallets. She'd make them dollar signs. She sold breath spray. She sold whitening uh, toothpaste. She sold all sorts of stuff. So she would walk into a room with us, and she would find somebody who was selling something, and she would say, I'm going to be your sales rep. So really, the 21st century lemonade stand concept is getting your kids selling something. Get them interacting. Get them in this conversation versus tucking their head down, staying in their computer and their phone all day. So what could your kids do? What are their skill sets? I had a kid one time, he's 13 years old, he made $2,000 selling Instagram posts for older people in the room that didn't know how to do it. In your neighborhood, what could your kids do? If they're looking around, could they do babysitting? If you actually call it nannying, you're gonna get more money. Could they go rake leaves, do yard work, help another older you know, couple in your neighborhood? Just whatever those things are, what could they do for tasks so they're never paid an allowance? And how do you make it a 21st century lemonade stand? So if you're thinking about this, the tasks aren't the way they're gonna become a millionaire, but it's starting to condition them to think like having their own company. So at very early age, I added my kids to our companies. And yes, they can't legally sign into an LLC or an S Corp or a C Corp till they're 18 years old, but you can, in definition, put them on. They can see bank statements. They can see invoicing. They can see cost of goods. And you just start training them. Around 10 years old is probably the best time to start some of this, you know, I'd say P&L training. Because soon, at 18 years old, we're going to turn those LLCs over to them. And like when my son was 18 years old, that's what he got for his birthday. He got an LLC. And subsequently, five years later, he's now signed into many of my companies. And he's now my real estate partner and many ventures. So the 21st century lemonade stand has them thinking like an entrepreneur. What is their skill sets? What could they get paid for? And how to hustle. Really critical that you get these kids out thinking entrepreneurialism and hustling. And if they want something, they can pay for a bunch of it. So again, back to the financial filing kit for the kids. There's a whole section on bigger goals, bigger dreams, cost of goods and expenses. So the financial filing kit, we'll give you a link to that at the end of my video. So stay tuned. There's a bunch in there that's just phenomenal. So before I get to the most important concept, I want you to make some comments right now in the chat. Just put some comments in. What would you want your kids to do? 
right? What kind of tasks could they do? What kind of 21st century lemonade stands could they have? The other thing I want you to do, I would love for you to subscribe to this. If you're enjoying this, you can go up and search inside my channel at any time for a whole variety of concepts. I am out here five days a week teaching you, teaching you, teaching you. So if I know what you want me to talk about, I'll jump right back out here on camera and do a video specifically for your request. So subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button so every day you wake up with me and some new financial literacy for you and your family. Now the most important concept in how my kids became millionaires on paper, right? On paper, by 10, is you take these 21st century lemonade stands and you start identifying which one could be a real viable business and you put an entity around it. And yes, parents, you have to be heavily involved. I was on a Barbara Walters show one time specializing focusing on my teenage millionaires. And how did those teenagers become millionaires? Because their parents were involved. So until they're 18, you have to be involved. But you put them in the LLCs, you actually employ them, you get them a Roth IRA, and you teach them how to start investing. And all of this is gonna be coming out in a book, Make Your Kids Millionaires, so stay tuned. April 2022, that book will be out in live. You'll be able to get that. And it's a step-by-step -step guide from zero to 21, how I made my kids millionaires. Now, the most important concept though, I wanna go back to that and kind of wrap with that because there's a lot of you know, heavy lifting in the how you make your kids millionaires. So we're gonna continue in this channel teaching you concept after concept after concept. But the most important too is a debit card and a credit card. So at around 10 years old, we make sure that you get your kid a car allowance. So your car allowance is something that they can contribute to and whatever they have in it by the time they're 16, I match it, you can match it to whatever degree you want and that's the size of car, that's the amount of money they get to buy the first car. Now, in addition to that, at 13, at least by 13, you should have a debit card for the checking account that they are on, that they're custod you're the custodian of their account and you should have a credit card. Now the credit card's really gonna be yours and here's the benefit to you parents, It'll increase your credit if you do it exactly right. So yes, your kid, especially now in today's era, day and age, just for safety, you want them to have some money available. If they get stranded at school, stranded at a sports event, they wanna have a credit card to at least get somewhere. And why use a debit card, which pulls cash straight out of your bank account, when you can use a credit card, you can get points, you can get all sorts of rewards, you can get better credit for it, and you're using someone else's money for 30 days. And make sure you pay off, completely pay off that card, have your kid go back through the statements because they're the ones spending. And I'm talking maybe 50, 100, $150 a month maximum, right? They're out and they want to go get a Starbucks. They're out and they want to go get a snack. They're out and they want to go do something with their friends. They have the ability to do that. Plus you can track their spending because you can't track cash. So a lot we have to teach you. In fact, right now, if you want to go back and search in the channel for just the use of credit cards, use of funding for you as a parent, I have time tons of content here on the channel about those two topics. So if you're enjoying this and you really want to come closer, learn the concepts and really step-by-step step be guided through the process, I have an application in the link below. I'm also going to give you a bonus gift, never pay your kids an allowance. So when you click on the link, it'll pop up, be never pay your kids an allowance and then there'll be an application. I want you to fill out, it's just quick 30 seconds. What is it that you want to know about money? What is it that you want to know about generational wealth and making your kid a millionaire? And by the way, kids, if you're out there, you can fill out that application too. Send it in. We'll talk to one of our senior members of our team and we're going to get right back to you. I would love to coach you on how I made my kid millionaires, how you can do it as well. See you tomorrow.